the moment you have um, uh, the whole industry, the whole sector is dominated by smallholder farmers in Africa. Most of the food production is smallholder farmers. And uh, these farmers uh, are mostly women, two thirds of them are women. And their productivity on the farms is far below that achieved in, in the US, in China and in Europe. So the yields, the tons per hectare are very low. So in corn, for example, only one and a half tons per hectare, whereas in the US, um, and uh, someone might achieve uh, eight to ten tons per hectare. So there is an opportunity and uh, there to raise those yields and and to help those farmers, and then to also provide a market for a high value crop. How do you do it in practice? So in practice, um, there's there's uh, three areas we focus on. Um, the first is on the input side. So th there's a real problem on the input side in finding high quality hybrid seed. Uh, with highest quality seed, the farmer can have a better yield uh, on, on the farms. And secondly, a market for a higher value crop. So instead of growing low value crops like corn or cassava, um, the farmer needs a market. And a market normally looks like a processing plant. So if you can build a processing plant, and that's the sort of thing we do, then you're providing a market. So a good example would be tomatoes. If we build a tomato pasting factory, then we're providing a market for tomatoes in that area. And that's a really nice high value crop for a farmer to start growing in rotation with, with maize and other crops. Sustainability means building a business that is going to operate into the long term. And it has to have all environmental and social aspects covered so that it's going to continue in the, in the long term. Yeah. Sustainability means working with our surrounding communities to ensure that their livelihoods are improved which then builds the business. So working with small-scale farmers we, uh, and providing a market for small-scale farmers means that our business uh, has more inputs and means that the surrounding communities have more money. The population is growing uh, fast, the fastest in the world, the African population. So 25 to 3% per annum. So a country like Tanzania, the population is 53 million. It's growing at one and a half million a year. So that's one and a half million more people to feed a year. And it can be solved and it's relatively easy in a sense because the yield, the productivity on the farms is so low. If the average yield is only one and a half tons a hectare, you can easily get that to four tons a hectare, which is more than doubling the food production, simply by using the right seed and the right techniques through training. So we don't need lots of equipment. Um, we just need to have the technique right and, 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 and the right seed on the farms. So I think in, if, if, you, if you can raise the productivity on, on these smallholder farms, not only do you solve the food problem, you also probably you will move Africa to export. They'll be starting to export food and you're raising the incomes of this group who are the lowest income group in, in the economy. So we, we, the way we try to measure impact is, is to look at what economic benefit other people have directly from what we are doing. So how much more income are they making in a sustainable way? And we try to quantify that and it, and it can be brought about by providing that market for tomatoes So now they are earning more than they were earning before and we need them to grow tomatoes for, for the factory, they need us. So it provides a sustainable income and uh, so we quantify that on average um, typical farmers in the areas we've been operating, uh, these smallholder farmers earn about 700 US dollars a year and the farmers we've worked with are now have increased that to about $1,300. So it's another $600 so far and growing. Um, and, in, 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 and we've employed 6,200 people. Um, the total number of people we've impacted is, is around 95,000 people. So and each, by impact we mean they're each earning more money, more income. And that's how we quantify it. So what is interesting in the communities in which we operate is that we are surrounded by, by communities, by small scale farmers, and the majority of them are women. The men typically go and get jobs elsewhere, but the women are responsible for the farming, for looking after livestock often. And uh, so we are very happy that we can directly impact these women by providing them with a market, by increasing their incomes. In Tanzania, for example, there are the poultry farmers are women. 
men leave poultry farming up to women and it's a great way of getting money directly into women's hands and women tend to focus their finances on their children. <laughs> Education, healthcare, the women are very careful with their money, they spend it well, they spend it wisely and they look after their family. So there's huge welfare benefits of, um, of empowering women. We're working in very rural areas. We're working with the poorest people on the African continent. Mm -hmm. And it's really special to be able to increase their incomes, to be able to improve their livelihoods, to live in rural areas and, the, and sustainably increase their, their livelihoods by working with them, providing training, um, providing markets for their, for their crops. Mm -hmm.